안녕하세요 아이린입니다. Hi everyone, it's Irene Kim here, and I'm very very excited to walk you through my daily skincare routine and my daily makeup look. First, I'm going to wash my face. Lather it up. Now the next step is. Toner! This is just a brand, a dermatologist brand from Korea that I've been using for years. And it's just very, very good for irritated skin. So good the ears, behind the neck. Don't forget this area. Next step is my secret serum that I get. Um, it's actually the leftovers that I get after my facials that I do once a week in Korea. And um, the dermatologist just like packs it up. And I can travel with it. It's like, boop. I don't really know what it is, but it works. And then I have my face mask. This is also a Korean brand. It's called BNV Biolab. And this is just like another moisturizing mask. Oh, and this is tricky because there's like leftovers on the front part and like I usually put it on before I put the mask on like you don't want to waste oh I look crazy <sighs> oh my gosh I look like the scream character I'm gonna put the leftovers like on my legs don't want to waste it I'm going to take this serum. It's just vitamin C serum from SkinCeuticals. For me, I consider skincare as eating. So whatever you put into your body will reflect on, you know, your energy and you have to customize. It depends on the day and how your skin feels, like what city you're in, what environment you're in. Um, right now, I'm, tr I'm traveling so much, so I take extra care to, to moisturize, to give my skin the right food for it. Next up, another serum. I'm going to show you my super secret beauty tool. Ta-da! A spoon, guys. So you don't need any fancy tools. I keep it in the fridge for a couple minutes. And then you just de-puff. So the first part is you go like up along the cheekbone. And just do like upward movements. See the difference? No? Yes? It just like circulates the blood flow on your face and really just like drains the limbs and then the edge part what I do is I take it and it's like you're scooping up your jawline the decorte you no know, sometimes for events like you're wearing like a low-cut top or a dress you want to really get that like nice line and just like drain it all out. Drain out the bad vibes. Now that I have my serum and I've depuffed my face, I'm going to go into my moisturizer. This is something that I discovered um, as my skin started to break out in the beginning stages of my career. One of the reasons why I was breaking out, I didn't realize, was I was allergic to oils. And I, I used to slather coconut oil all over my face because like some article on Google said it was like the best thing for you. And then I went to my dermatologist, I took an allergy test. Everything is not for everyone. And the next step is another moisturizer. It's a lot heavier than the first cream that I used, but um, because I'm doing like a dewy skin look today, I'm just going to layer on a little bit more. Sunblock. Sunblock, I put on religiously. I even put it on in the evenings 
not before bed, but if I'm going out at night and I have to get ready, like, I'll put on sunblock. Because there are also a lot of UV rays in lighting, obviously. So I do not leave the house without sunblock. Even if I'm going to like a deli to get milk or something, I will go, I will put on sunblock when I leave the house. And then next step is more sunblock. <laughs> so this is a um, BB cream with SPF. This consistency is a lot more like a foundation. Like the other one is kind of like a lightweight serum, but I like to use this also as a base. Next step, I'm going to apply my foundation. When I took an allergy test with my dermatologist in Korea, she recommended these stick foundations and I've been using them for like five or six years now. So I'm going for like uh, my everyday go-to makeup look. It's like this like kind of peachy, dewy, pinky look. So I'm gonna take this color, peaches and cream, all over my eye. Oh, it's, it smells peachy too. Then I'm gonna take a brush and use the same color and just like go under part of my eye. I like to go under because it just gives an illusion of um, more depth and definition because I do have, you know, very almond shaped eyes. Oh yeah. Before I layer on more shadow, I'm going to do eyeliner. So one thing that I have a tip for for eyeliner is, you know how some people or most people will angle your face into the mirror and do the eyeliner and then come back and realize like it's too high, too low. So what I do is I look in the mirror and I just look straight forward and then I shape my eyeliner so you can get the exact angle that you want. Hey, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to go in and just fill in my lash line. It's time for the most important part of my routine. It's curling my eyelashes. I'm very, very particular about my eyelashes. Um, in general, I think Asians' eyelashes are very straight and um, to curl them is just like a whole, a big deal for me. They need to always be curled. It's like you need to do like an upward movement as you like clamp, but like soft clamps. <laughs> so you start deep in and then you go whoop, 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 whoop. And you get this like nice swoosh curl. Oh yeah, see? See how that like opens up my eyes? I'm gonna go back to my palette. This one is just peachy. I'm just gonna go and swoop it across so you get this like semi ombre effect. And then I'm going to take a liner brush and use the same color just on the corner of my eye. One thing about Korean makeup, it's all in the really, really tiny details. Even if it's like the smallest dot or smallest like swipe of a certain color of eyeshadow or layering, it makes such a huge difference. I'm gonna take Fresh Picked and then I'm just gonna go like right along the bottom lash. So I'm just gonna take one of the darker colors and just go right 
in the middle of my bottom lash line. I'm not gonna go all the way through. And then it just like opens it up magically. Okay, next step is mascara. So this is just like a, a mascara booster thing that I'm gonna just put a few swipes on. So when I apply mascara, I don't use the full brush. I like to use the tip and just like and this is my beauty hack that I learned from makeup artists in Korea. I probably wouldn't recommend you to try this at home because it involves fire <laughs> and a broken end of a used Q-tip. So fancy. So what I do is I take the lighter and heat up the wooden stick maybe like four seconds and just like use your hands to see if it's warm then I'm just gonna curl it up I know some people heat up the eyelash curler but what the heat does and I don't know maybe it's like scientific or a reaction but it takes off all the excess clumpiness of the mascara as well so as it curls see like you can see the excess mascara like it removes it too so it gives a lot more of a natural eyelash look make sure it's a wooden q-tip because if it's plastic like obviously it's gonna melt so I just love bushy brows. I think they're natural and beautiful. Like even these like little baby hairs, like I just leave them. And I'm gonna use my little baby brow mascara from Benefit. The name is so cute. Gimme brow. Gimme, gimme. This side is up and this side is down. So I, I use the mascara to like brush this side up to make it more even. The next step is blush! So this is the bottom part where it has the blush. And then the top part is twist it open. Ta -da! It's a heart! So cute, right? So I'm just gonna stamp it. So I'm just gonna go in the center. And then I have my three lip colors. Two of them from, are from Giorgio Armani and one is from Fenty. So I'm gonna use the first one. This is Lip Mastro. And just like go all over my lip and use my fingers to just blend. I just like the natural look and then take the pinkier color then just go in the center to give that like ombre effect just a few dabs and then i just add a touch of gloss and i think i'm done take the clips off i'm just gonna brush through my hair with my tangle teaser People make fun of me all the time for carrying this around, but it's literally the best best brush ever. Make sure you don't have any lipstick on your teeth. And that's it! I'm done! This is just like my daily look that I do every day for events or when I have to do my makeup on my own. Just giving the MFBB look my face but better with the glowy, healthy skin. Like, make sure you guys, you know, it's just as important what you put in and the different steps that you have for your skincare routine as much as, you know, the garnish, which is the makeup. Thank you guys so much for following along with me. Bye! Annyeong!